Hello everyone, welcome back to Wiggy channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button and do like my video if you really find this helpful. So today we are going to take a look at the uh, different hard disks from different brands and different capacities and this will uh, hopefully give you an idea of uh, which one to choose and which one to go for especially in if you are looking to buy an external hard disk right now. Uh, so recently I purchased a Toshiba 2TB version which is the uh, Canvio Connect 2 version of this uh, Toshiba that's the model name and it, they also have a little bit cheaper version which is the Canvio Basic you can also opt for that but this gets uh, additional backup software as well as an encryption uh, where you can uh, store your uh, any information very safely so this is the Toshiba 2TB it has got 5400 rpm of speed going for it uh, nothing fancy simple uh, hard disk and I also have this uh, transcend model which is one terabyte hard disk uh, which is very rugged device if you are looking for any rugged type of device that la lasts for very long even um, can take some uh, drop impacts uh, do uh, buy this transcend model I will also leave a link in the description to all of these hard disks where you can take a look at and decide for yourself which one to go for uh, but I really love this uh, hard disk from transcend which is uh, rugged also handy also compact and it, the data speeds are also quite fast for what you pay and another one is this uh, typical what we have on the PC that is the 850 EVO uh, hard disk from uh, Samsung and it has uh, 250 GB of uh, storage space also we will be uh, looking at the speeds of the, uh, the Western Digital and Seagate hard disk uh, that is the 1 terabyte hard disk that is what I have on my PC so we, we shall look at all these transfer speeds and you, you can decide it for yourself which one to go for uh, of course all these uh, hard disks have different speeds uh, but uh, still you can get an idea if you are going to purchase an external hard disk how much the speed will be in for uh, data that you transfer and how much the speed will be if you are transferring it internally uh, from one hard disk to another hard disk uh, on your PC. So let's uh, jump into the video quickly and see how the speeds vary. Alright guys so I am going to test these storage devices using a software called Crystal Disk Mark which is pretty standard benchmarking software. You can also find the link for this software in the description section down below. I will uh, leave a link to that so that you can download it for yourself and uh, check your corresponding uh, disk speeds as well. So here as you can see there are four tests for read and write which is in megabytes per second. First one is the sequential Q32T1 test. If you don't know what that means it basically tests the read and write speed with multiple queues and the threads of data here the block size will be 128 kilobytes in simple terms it picks up 128 kilobyte size of each block of data and transfers and then tests so it will be like picking up different fruits and putting them in one basket and then later transferring the entire basket into another so how fast and how much data it can transfer is that number whereas in 4k q32 t1 the process is same but it picks random data and puts in queues and threads and then it transfers. So this time it will be like picking random fruits and putting that in one basket and transferring it into another one. Hopefully this makes sense. The third test is the sequential test where the block size is 1 megabytes only but here the data is sent one by one that is one after the other in a single line which is called threads. This really puts the hard disk into work to show its transferring capabilities. The last one is the 4K which uh, uh, takes random data of uh, different sizes but puts them in a single queue and thread. So fairly this will give you an idea of how different storage devices vary with its read and write speeds. Right now as you can see the test results of a SSD from Samsung with uh, 250 GB of uh, capacity and generally SSDs are considered to be best companion for a bootable purpose. So you install Windows on SSD and it will make your life a lot easier and faster. Uh, with that said, as you can see the sequential read speed of SSD is 550 Mbps with write speed being 525 Mbps which happens to be pretty fast workflow in real time. Similarly, the read and write data speed is pretty consistent except for 4K random data transfer test but still it is quite fast. Let's see what the test results are for Transcend 1TB external hard disk which runs at standard 5400 rpm. So as you can see the difference to that of SSD is by huge margin. The read and write speed is average 96 Mbps and for 4K random transferring of content it is pretty slow. 
so that is why you see low transfer speeds when you transfer files from your PC to external hard disks because the data will be random and it takes quite a bit of more time. Alright, moving on, here's the test speed of a new Toshiba 2TB hard disk which also runs at 5400rpm. As you can see, it is a bit faster than that of Transcend's 1TB hard disk, averaging at 121mbps, which is pretty good for what it costs. For uh, just under 90 bucks or uh, Rs 5400, this really performed well here. At last, here is the results for normal 7200rpm Barracuda internal hard disk from Seagate. It did quite well considering that it is it has been running for more than 5 years now, averaging at about 112 Mbps. I think for longer run with cost in mind, these are the uh, still the way to go for your multimedia storage. But if you want something compact to carry on, the Toshiba did a nice job with transfer speeds and should be a good option in terms of price to performance ratio. If you want rugged device, then Transcend is the way to go. If you have got more budget to spend, then SSDs or even M.2 SSDs with larger capacity or storage options should serve your purpose really fast and good. Of course, there are multiple choices, many more options and things to consider, but I just wanted to keep this video simple and in general and with the access uh, that I have uh, to my storage devices here. So guys, I hope this video was helpful in giving you an idea of different storage device speeds. If yes, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more useful content. Thanks for watching everyone. See you all in the next one.